um, build something um, meaningful, right? So have the experience uh, right here on working on an international team. I don't know. We we haven't met before, right? And it's interesting to see how this works out. Uh, do something and improve something. This is what we are mm -hmm. here for. I mean, see with with the doctors, with the experts, that what we are doing makes sense. The port is a hackathon that focuses on humanitarian issues. I was part of Team Medspitality that worked on how to improve human relationships in hospitals. I work for healthcare think tank in Japan, so I do care about the patient-doctor relationship. I'm from Germany, I'm a web developer more or less since a couple of years and we were able to focus on let's say four core features that we think are quite valuable on improving the contact between patients and doctors. So we the techies, they are setting up uh, their IDEs, their laptops, and we are almost ready to, to start to development. Work. And the rest of the team is preparing um, know, workflows, mock-ups, and uh, thinking about the, how, the, how the app would look like and how the behavior would be. So. Yesterday the main challenge was really understanding what the hospital have already done, and what is the direction for the next 20 years, I would say. The main goal was to understand where we can just put some technology, some our uh, background to to improve this contact between a patient and doctor. And this is where we where we try to work, where we try to to fix the gap between uh, the the nurse and the doctor. They have a really nice. Um, a software uh, for telling them everything that is going on and the person that is just lying on the bed and it actually don't understand what's going on. After six weeks of preparation, the team spent three intense days looking for innovative technology supported measures to improve the impact of human contacts in hospitals. At the end of the three days, the team could present the prototype of an app that supports and complements human interactions in hospitals. How often does it happen that you go to hospital and you're completely lost, not just lost geographically, but also lost among many people with white coats and with masks on them? We want to change this. We want to show the human face of the people behind these masks and the white coats. We've been working on an app that, that should give the patient a better view of what's going on. A app that will show him who will take care of him at the hospital. And an app through which he can give feedback. Uh, when he arrives at the hospital, already he receives a, receives a tablet with uh, an application pre-installed where you see here the patient profile. He can click on My Day. And here you see each point of the on the treatment schedule uh, of his day. He can click on one particular item. Here you see breakfast uh, with Neil Answers. Neil Answers is the doctor. Uh, he can even go further and click on the icon of the doctor. And it shows uh, not only a photo, but also who that person is. If a patient has a question to the doctor beforehand, he can put it down here in the system. And later, when the doctor is there, discuss it with the doctor. There is a button here, My Care Team. Here, the patient sees all the people, his caretakers. And it furthermore, um, the people are coming here. And on the screen, you see who is getting closer. Right now, they're not yet there. Now you see the person is around. We do this with a proximity server that you see on, on the nurse's coat here. And uh, even some light indicators, depending on how busy the nurse right now is. So like this, the people, the per patient sees who is around. He can click again on the profile of the, of the, of the person and sees the name and maybe um, what the person is interested in, again, to reinforce that link between the patient and the, the, the caretaker. We have thought about one more thing. If you're in a hospital, you're usually not alone. There are many other patients. Patients, you have no idea who they are but maybe it would be interesting in to interact with them. You see here a, a few icons, a few uh, nicknames. You don't see the real names for privacy reasons. And if you click on that, you can uh, interact with that person through, for example, right now, through, um, through text, through chat, maybe at a later stage through 
voice or even video, who knows. And then you can, well, maybe just chat with a person or you can agree to meet for a coffee in one hour uh, together and then you discuss whatever you're interested in. Beyond these core features, we have a couple of buttons here. One is toilet. If someone needs to go to the toilet and urgently needs to call the nurse, the person can press the button here and uh, the device on the nurse starts vibrating. Adding a device between the caretakers and the patient is risky. We don't want to replace any personnel. But with a device, with an app, we think we can actually enhance this contact to make the stay of the patient in the hospital better. Thank you. Thank you.